10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. What's up, everybody? It's Brandon of Box Office Banner and Cult Flick Symposium, and I am back to talk some more John Wick as we are revisiting these John Wick movies, as we are on the doorstep of John Wick Chapter 4, and all us action fans are oh so excited. So, let's see if I still feel the same way about these movies. First one, just quick recap, about the same. Loved it when I first watched it. The rewatch value is not as great, although it's still a great action movie objectively. This one was by far and away my favorite. Has anything changed? John Wick 2, people, as it falls out. I'm just going to be real with you. Nothing's fucking changed. This movie is an action masterpiece. It takes everything the first one did, expands on the lore, which is always a good thing for a sequel to do, and dials it up to 11. And again, this is my problem with the first one upon rewatches. It's amazing when it first goes because I love how slowly it ingratiates you into this world. But in the second one, and once you've watched the second one multiple times, you've watched the third one multiple times, when you come back to the first one, you kind of miss where the world goes, you know, at least for me. So when I'm rewatching this, I don't have that same drudge I guess effect where it kind of dampers my mood where I, I know what this universe is capable of when I watch this I'm thrown into the thick of it the second one gets you right into the best shit that this world has to offer the third one is honestly like I mean there's a couple little things here and there but it's more of the same this is the one that really accelerates at least with what we have so far and I don't know how much more they can expand on this because they've already expanded so much and you're just like I mean we, we know how deep this shit can go by the second one. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see the way they shake things up. They did a pretty good job of it in the third one. But as for this one, this one, again, the action, fucking stupendous. I think the set pieces are better. I think Keanu is better in this movie. And it's because the character is better. And the reason why the character is better is because he doesn't say as much. He doesn't do as much. Again, I think that's better suited for John Wick. In the first one, he got a little bit of the emotional range in the beginning. He talked a little more. He's very one note. It's almost like Stahelski's even playing into you know Keanu Reeves, how people make fun of him for being this dull actor. And this one... He immediately is more reserved, and it's almost like sometimes he's not even trying, almost like a wink at the camera, like, yeah, it doesn't even matter if I'm a great fucking actor because I'm a presence, and you know I will fuck you up in real life, too. That is the beauty of John Wick. Um, whereas in the first one, I had a lot of what I would say, not, not bad moments, but they would be singles, doubles, triples, not home runs is the way I would word it. Every time I wanted something to go somewhere, it went there, at least for my taste. So, like, it always was a home run. I had a problem with the ending in the first one. I wanted, you know, Vigo in the first one to not have the end fight. For me, Vigo's the guy that sits back. He's, you know, the fucking head honcho, but he's got the right-hand man. How they had Daniel Bernhardt in the first one. And this one, you have, uh, what the fuck is the main bad guy's name? But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. The main bad guy in this movie, he doesn't really overstep his boundaries. We Now, he's not his, you know, main henchman. It's actually his sister's henchman that starts to, you know, right-hand man that starts to go after Wick. But you get that in common, and I believe common in this movie. It's almost like they did what they should have done with Bernhardt with Common. Now, I know they got the same amount of fights and all that shit, but the way they utilized Common, it was just very, it was more well done to me. And then you got to see the big shebang, you know, I keep saying that word, I don't know why, but maybe that just fits for some reason this franchise for me. It's the big shebang, people. I'm going to fucking, you know, patent it. But when you get to the big shebang, God damn, there it goes again. Uh, you almost get a huge Bruce Lee fan. You get like an Enter the Dragon, like mirror type. Again, the set pieces, like, you know, it's more extravagant. It's not more bare bones. They're really having fun with it now and just seeing how creative and cool they can get with the worlds. Um, the way they set all that up, the way he's got to gun all these people down, it's just such a better conclusion to me. And one thing I'll say about this movie too, the pacing is immaculate. I've heard so many people say in this movie that like it just hits a dead stop after the beginning. No, bro. It hits you in the mouth 
And then it hits this stretch where it's just like setting everything up. It's letting you into the world deeper. You're fu- like stuff you can get invested in because, you know, it's building up to something. And then once it builds up to something, the last fucking like hour of this movie, maybe hour and change is just nonstop pedal to the metal over the top action violence that we crave. That is in a weird way. It's almost like when you're watching Asian martial arts movies, you'll see like an Asian martial artist. You're just like, man, he's Chinese, bro. Like, I feel like he can do that. We spend our disbelief for some reason with things like that. When we see Keanu Reeves do shit like this, that he does in this movie, you're like, man, it's fucking Keanu Reeves, bro. I believe he could do that with a gun. I believe that is where this movie takes off. And you believe the outlandish moments in this movie more, at least more than you would with other actors in today's day and age. Cause again, the face we just don't have them again the way it's shot the way the actor is portraying it it's just not as believable and this movie soups that up fucking takes it to 11 as i said fucking kills it and then of course you know the very ending let's talk about it my lord dude when you get like what better setup and lead off into the next movie for him to just fucking you know be excommunicado as he just did the gangster shit ever he goes up in there just blows a dude's head off that was fucking trying to fuck with him the entire movie like he's like yeah basically getting cocky eating food like you can't touch me in here and john wick's like i don't give a fuck i'm john wick i don't have fucking rules gangster as fuck and then winston's got to sit there and just be like look john you're a made man and you just see everybody's phones lighting up everybody wants a piece of john and they're trying to get that money who will be the guy to take out the boogeyman and wow you're me it's like one of those when it's over you're like where the fuck is three where the fuck is three well we now have three we know how that went but in the moment ooh, was it good john wick 2 is really like is close to an action masterpiece, at least in America, I guess you could say, like the Raid movies, anybody, uh, that you can really get. This movie is a 9.2, 9.3 out of 10. It's considerable leap better for me than the first one. The first one's a little closer on first watch, but rewatch value, how it sits with you after watching these movies multiple times, I think the second one, the entertainment value just goes berserk, and it doesn't stop going berserk. So fucking cool, man. John Wick 2. If you somehow have not seen the John Wick movies, and you don't mind spoilers, I kind of spoiled a little thing at the end. Come on, these movies are older. We know what we're getting into here. But if you don't mind spoilers, and you somehow have not seen these movies, or at least just maybe want to see one, fuck it. Fuck continuity. Just watch this one, man, because it's fucking badass. Gotta love it. Love some John Wick. We'll have that third one out here soon to review, and then we'll talk about that fourth one. Can't wait, guys. Love you.